Hello everyone, and welcome back to another ASMR storybook reading. Today's story is called The Twelve Dancing Princesses. Long ago, there lived a king who had twelve beautiful and clever daughters. The princesses slept in the same room with twelve beds in a row. The king loved his daughters, but he was concerned about what they did each night. The king carefully locked the door of the princess's room every night. The next morning, he always found the princesses tired and out of sorts. More puzzling still, their silk dancing shoes were worn to shreds. When the king asked his daughters why they were so tired, the princesses merely said, Beloved Papa, we have been sleeping peacefully in our beds all night. The king wanted to find out the truth about his daughters. So the king issued a proclamation around the kingdom that the first man to solve the mystery of where the princesses went to dance every night would choose a wife from among them. However, anyone who tried to discover the princess's secret had only three nights to succeed. It was not long before a prince arrived at the palace to try his luck. The prince was led to a small chamber next to the princess's bedroom, where a door connecting the two rooms was left open. The twelve princesses could not leave without being seen by the prince. The prince accepted a cup of wine offered to him by the princesses. In no time, he was sound asleep in his bed. When the prince awoke the next morning, the princesses were asleep in their beds. The prince was surprised see all their worn-out shoes. The next two nights, the same thing happened. The king was very angry, and he banished the prince from the kingdom. Many other princes met the same fate. The king thought he would never find out the mystery of where his daughters danced at night. One day, a poor, wounded soldier came limping along the road. He had just sat down by the side of the road to eat his meager meal of bread and cheese, when an old woman appeared, all dressed in rags. "'Won't you have a bite to eat with me?' said the soldier to the woman. He offered her half of his simple meal. Where are you going? asked the woman. I am going to find work, replied the soldier. Perhaps I can find out how the princesses wear their shoes out. The old woman said, Listen, do not drink the wine that the princesses offer you. Take this cloak, for it will make you invisible. Then you can follow the princesses and discover their secret. The soldier thanked the old woman and headed at once to the king's palace. That night, the soldier was led to the room next to the princess's bedroom. He was offered a cup of wine. The soldier pretended to drink the wine, letting it drip into his shirt. Then he lied down and pretended to sleep.
When the eldest princess heard the soldier snores, she said, Make haste. We must get ready for the ball. The princesses chattered and laughed as they dressed in their best gowns and jewels and arranged each other's hair. Only the youngest princess felt uneasy. Something isn't right, she said. Don't be a little goose, said the eldest princess fondly. That soldier is sound asleep. He won't be up till morning. When the princesses were ready, they put on their dancing shoes. Then the eldest princess tapped on her bedpost three times. The bed sank into the floor and became a staircase. The eldest princess stepped down into the opening in the floor. One by one, her sisters followed her. The soldier sprang out of bed and threw on the magic cloak. Then he followed the youngest princess down the long stairway. Because his leg was lame, the soldier stumbled and stepped on the hem of the youngest princess's gown. She shrieked with alarm. The princesses and the soldier went down many flights of stairs until they came to a forest of silver trees. Then they came across trees of gold and trees of diamonds. The soldier broke off a branch from each kind of tree that they passed. The princesses hurried to the edge of a beautiful lake. There, twelve princes awaited them in twelve little painted boats. Each princess took the hand of a handsome prince. The soldier quickly hopped into the boat with the youngest princess and her prince. On the other side of the lake stood a lovely castle. As the boats approached the castle, a fanfare of trumpets announced the arrival of the twelve dancing princesses, and fireworks lit up the sky. The princes and the princesses stepped into the castle where beautiful music welcomed them. There, the princesses danced with their princes for half the night. Soon, the princesses' slippers were worn out. The princes rowed the twelve princesses back across the lake, and this time, the soldier rowed with the eldest sister. The princesses bade their princes good night, and promised to return the next night. Then the princesses hurried back the way they came. They were so tired that they slowed down at the top of the last set of stairs. The soldier was able to dash ahead of them, throw off his cloak, and jump into bed. The princesses got to their room and put their worn and tattered shoes in a row. The eldest princess checked on the soldier to be sure that he was asleep, and said to her sisters, We are safe. With that, all twelve sisters fell fast asleep in their beds. The soldier wanted to see the forests and the castle again, so he did not reveal what he knew the next day. The soldier did the same thing for the next two nights. He pretended to sleep and followed the princesses. On the third night, the soldier took a golden cup from the castle to show the king as proof. The next morning, the king sent for the soldier and asked him, Good soldier, have you discovered where my daughters dance their shoes to shreds at each night? Your Highness, I have, said the soldier. They sneak down a hidden staircase, the 
and they walk through three enchanted forests to a beautiful lake. There, twelve princes take them across the lake to a castle, where they dance the night away. The king could not believe the soldier's story, but then the soldier showed him the golden cup and the branches of silver, gold, and diamonds. The king called his daughters, who admitted the truth. The king told the soldier that since he solved the mystery, he could choose one of the princesses to be his wife. The soldier had already decided that he liked the eldest princess best. She was clever and spirited, as well as very beautiful. For her part, the princess thought the soldier was clever and kind. The soldier was given royal garments to wear. He and the eldest princess were married, and all the wedding guests happily danced the night away.